Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. Wow! Team, I want you to meet Rupert Reiki. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Yeah. Reiki. Mr. Reiki is a glass artist. He makes things from glass. Pilchard! Pilchard! Now that's Rolly, and Pilchard is Bob's cat. Rupert's been staying at the bunkhouse. I've been waiting for my big new furnace to arrive to go in my studio. Rupert and I designed the studio together, so now we're going to build it. Brilliant! Pilchard, where are you? Oh, um, why are you looking? Pilchard, Rolly. We've been playing together, but now she's disappeared. Oh, I wouldn't worry, Rolly. I've got a cat called Sprat. He's always disappearing. In fact, cats do that. Yeah, I still think I should look for Pilchard. Maybe should have seen Sprat. OK, Rolly. We won't need you on the build today anyway. Oh, thanks, Bob. Pilchard! This is such a lovely sunny spot. Your studio is going to be full of light all the time, Rupert. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Pilchard, why have you been hiding from your mate, Rolly? Pilchard, what's the matter? Oh, uh, I bet you're cross because I was clumsy and knocked down your hidey hole. I didn't mean to. All right, Rolly, look what I've got. Mr. Reeky's new furnace. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong, Rolly? It's Pilchard. She's all upset with me. I've got to find her. Oh, well, I've seen her around the playground a lot. Of course, the playground! Pilchard! Pilchard! Now, hang on. Being clumsy is what upset her the last time. I need to be more careful and delicate. Oh, Pilchard! Look at me! Hey! I'm being ever so careful! <laughs> Pilchard! <laughs> Pilchard? Are you cross because I was clumsy again? Pilchard? I can be careful! Just let me show you! Hello, everyone! Delivery for Rupert Reiki! My furnace! Fantastic! Hello, Marjorie. What have you got there? I've been collecting up all the old jars and bottles from everyone in the valley. What for? For me, Dizzy. I can use all this old glass to make new glass. I'll melt all the green glass, for instance. Melt it? How do you melt glass, Mr Eeky? That's what the big furnace is for, Mark. You crush the glass into tiny pieces called cullet and then heat it in the furnace until it melts. Then you can shape it into anything you like. Right, Rupert? Oh, yes. I've been making lots of coloured glass pieces for the stained glass windows we're putting in my studio. Reduce, reuse, recycle! Right, team. We'd better get on with it. Pilchard! Pilchard! Rowley, what's all the shouting? Oh, sorry, Spud. It's just... Pilchard, stop being my friend, cos I'm too clumsy. Oh, well, why don't you pretend to be a cat? Cats are never clumsy. 
Look, I'll show you. <coughs> Meow! Come on, Rolly. Meow! It's easy. Just imagine you've got a tail. Meow! All right, then. Uh, oh, oh, yeah! It's not that hard, is it? Pilchard, I'm a little pussy cat. Come out and play with Rolly the green cat. Oh, yes, that's it. You're a natural, but swing your tail even more. Like this. <laughs> Pilchard, I found you again. Did you see me being like a cat? <laughs> oh, no. It's because I knocked over those straw bales. A cat wouldn't have done that, would it? Ah, uh, no. No wonder she doesn't want to play with a clumsy green machine like me. Go after her, but like a cat, remember? Maybe I've got to keep trying. Meow! <laughs> Pilchers, come back! Look, I'm a cat, just like you. must have rolled over some of Mr Ricky's glass art. I really am a clumsy green machine. I better tell Bob. Right, Rupert. It's time to put the stained glass windows in place. Wonderful. But we'd better be careful. Wendy, I think I've made a really big boo-boo. But it's cos I was trying to be a cat. Trying to be a cat? That's not pilchard. Meow. It must be Mr Ricky's cat, Sprat. Hello, Sprat. Can I have a word? Whoa, Sprat. Sprat, no. No, no! I can't believe it. I spent ages making that panel. Will you be able to make another one? I haven't got any more colour to melt up, Scoop. There's all that glass I collected. Yes, but crushing it up ready for the furnace will take hours. I'm really sorry, Mr Reeky, but I think I broke a load more of your artwork too. Oh, no. Where? Under there. <gasps> I've crushed it completely. Yes, but Roly... I was trying to be slinky like a cat, but I'm just a big clumsy green machine and I'm really, really sorry. But Roly, I'm not upset. I'm happy. Are you? Yes. It was a slinky cat that got the stained glass window broken in the first place. But what you've done is just right. How come? Because now I don't need to make any colour. I can use all this. You're not a clumsy green machine, Rolly. You're just, um, big and heavy. Like a steamroller's supposed to be. Oh, rock and roll! Mr. Ricky! I wish I knew where Pilchard was, though. Sprat seems to have disappeared again, too. Oh! Pilchard! There she is! But look! Oh! Kittens! No wonder she didn't want to play with me! She was looking for a quiet place to have her kittens. Pilchard's a mum! Oh, I think the dad must be Sprat. So Pilchard wasn't cross at me at all! No, and you're going to have plenty of cats to play with now, Rolly. Yes, Pilchard and Sprat are a mum and dad. And you're an uncle. Uncle Rolly! Rock and roll!